Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 170 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam with Code Karate, and today we are going to take a look at the J Reject module. What the J Reject module does is it allows you to set um, different br uh, browser blocks, basically. So if you uh, don't want users to use IE7, for example, on your website, you can pop up a uh, JavaScript pop-up that says, hey, this website is not optimized for this version of your browser, recommend you upgrade. Um, this JReject module, what works nice about this is it allows you to provide them different options to upgrade to, and you can also set with multiple different types of browsers which you don't want to uh, have your users using. So we're going to get into that here in a little bit. But first, as always, make sure to head on over to CodeKarate.com. There, obviously, you're going to find 169 other Daily Dose Drupal videos, as well as our um, Five Secrets to Becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja ebook. Make sure to check that out. We appreciate all the support we can get. Um, also, let us know if you uh, want to see any other videos made. Um, you can always touch base with us under the contact page on the website. All right, so let's get going. So, back to the JReject module. Pretty simple uh, module. Once you get it installed, there's one little um, extra feed thing you need to get it running, which we'll show you how to do here. But otherwise, just go ahead and download the module from Drupal.org. And then once you do that, you also want to get the Turnwheel um, JReject JavaScript files and stuff. Um, you can use that through Git if you're comfortable with using Git commands. Otherwise, you can simply go to uh, the the um, git, go to GitHub on the branch and download the zip file from there and then drop it into your uh, modules directory. So that's what I'll show you right now is just that version. So if you download the zip file, then you hop over to your FTP client or however you're, you're doing that. And then once you have the JReject module installed, it'll be under your modules folder here. Scroll to tell you. So it's under sites all modules and jreject and then I just you make sure you make a folder inside of jreject call it jreject and then you drop in all of the stuff from github in there so that's when you download the um, zip folder you'll get all these files within and as you see they're all laying within this jreject subfolder so that's all you have to do to get the module installed and the library set up correctly so come on over to your configuration page. Um, I've already turned the module on, but under uh, excuse me, configuration system, there's a J reject configurations area. Go into there. Um, by default, this is going to be not enabled. So make sure you check the J reject enabled. That just is going to turn it on and allow all your configurations to take place. And then there's just a bunch of different settings. They'll really let you customize exactly what you want the uh, pop-up to look like, um, including text, colors, and such. So you have your headings, a uh, couple paragraphs, you can customize how you want your message to be displayed to your user. Um, the closing message, what the message is going to say, and then if you wanted to redirect them um, after they click close to a different URL, otherwise it will just close out the modal box and load the page that they're currently on that you can redirect. Um, underneath the option settings so you can allow them to close it. You can obviously allow them not to close it which is um, a little risky from a you know user experience area but if you want you can uncheck these boxes and allow them not to close the popover. Um, you can also set the overlay colors, how much opacity you want, fades and stuff as like that. So it gives you all the options you need here. And one thing to note is you can do an integer fade in and fade out. So just make note of that. All right, so the last two ones are browser configurations. So this is the kind of the meat of the module. This is setting all of the browsers that you want the pop-up to show up on. So if a user comes to your site and isn't using Internet Explorer 7, the pop-up will show. If they are using Internet Explorer 8, the pop-up will not show because I don't have the box checked. Um, you can also segment on Firefox, Chrome, and Safari and Opera. So there's all kinds of different options. 
And that's really what makes this J reject module better than the other ones that are out there on Drupal, is you can specify on other browsers besides just Internet Explorer. Uh, even though Internet Explorer typically is the ones with the most issues um, from a display side. Uh, so, so once you get those set, just make sure you apply with saving the configuration. And then the last one is the browser alternatives. And these are the options that are going to appear in the pop-up for them to download and upgrade their browsers. Um, typically, I don't include Internet Explorer because I hate Internet Explorer. Um, so I would uncheck that. And I also really don't like this Google Chrome frame. That just loads Google Chrome within the Internet Explorer browser. Um, not that useful. Um, I'd prefer them just not to use Internet Explorer at all. So I always give them options for these four, and then I'll save the configuration. So now once they go to a, if they're using a browser that I don't like, um, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and Chrome will be the options they can download. And this basically just takes them to uh, those respective websites and it allows them to download from there. All right, so now I'm going to hop over and show you what this displays by using probably Internet Explorer um, as my browser. All right, everybody. So now we've hopped over to Internet Explorer. I'm going to show you what the J reject or yeah, sorry, J reject display looks like when you're using a browser you're not specifying a user to use. So as you see now, there's nothing appearing on my screen, and that's because I'm using the most updated version of IE. I believe we're probably using IE 10, but within developer tools and IE, you can switch the version. So if you go to that and then you're under here, document mode, we're going to switch that to 7. And once I click that to 7, it's going to reload my page for me. And once it does, then my pop-up or my JReject pop-up is going to appear. If I minimize that here, now you can see I have Mozilla Safari, Opera, and Chrome. And if you remember, those were the ones I specified for it to show up on. So then again, if I all of these links do is they link off to the um, newest, the, actually the websites for these browsers. So the download would be on that page. Um, and I also, like I said, I didn't change any of the text here, but again, you can customize all this text within that, customize the background color, and obviously make this closed window not even show up so they had have to. Um, download a new browser or go to a different website. Again, I don't recommend doing that, but that is your choice. So um, that is what the J reject module does. So other than that, um, again, make sure you download both the J reject module and the library and install them correctly on your website. Other than that, you can head over again to codekarate.com and uh, check out our ebook and connect with us in a lot of ways. All right, talk to you later.